Hello all, thank you for joining today. So today we are going to look at an introduction of what is an Microsoft Azure Administration Certification covers and what are the technical uh, skills required to cover this course. So this is a series of courses involving various topics which, which covers Azure Administrator uh, Certification. So first of all, I want to thank you everyone for listening to this series. And I would like to highlight that uh, the course content which I'm going to present is a result of collaboration with Microsoft and its partners and with leading IT pros to bring you a world-class experience. And I assure you that this will help you in uh, uh, completing your course successfully and acquire required knowledge and skills so that you can go ahead and take a certification. So let me introduce myself. My name is Satish and I'm a cloud solution architect and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer as well. I specifically worked on Azure for past six years. So this certification of YAZI 103, which is Microsoft Certified Administrator role, covers various areas specifically the cloud administrator role manages the cloud service that spans across the variety of azure resources either it be storage networking or compute and you should have a deep understanding of each and every service across the it life cycle So you can assume that it is a centralized team in the organization which manages cloud provisioning, capability, monitoring requests and all. So whenever you, uh, in your organization, some applications needs some cloud resources, they'll go to this cloud uh, team, so which consists of cloud administrator and they will provision those uh, resources and they will apply the right policies, organizational policies and they will enable certain controls for you to access and they will provide the endpoints. So that's basically they will be doing. And coming to the actual uh, controls they use, they normally use Azure portal and they use CLI and PowerShell. So these are the three tools which administration mostly uses and you should build expertise in those areas. So if you look at the background of Azure administrator, so administrator normally have an ex expertise on operating systems, virtualization, and generally how the cloud infrastructure works, how the storage works and the networking. There may not be equivalent comparison with cloud networking versus on-prem networking and cloud storage versus on-prem storage. But normally people transition from these experiences to cloud administrator. So they might have been uh, working as an uh, OS administrator or virtualization administrator and then they have slowly transitioned to cloud and they know how the things work in cloud. So this is the general role description of cloud administrator. Coming to this course AZ103, there are some prerequisites for this course. So 
normally once you have completed this course you will be able to oh, provision an environment so you will have expertise on operating systems virtualization infrastructure storage and networking so you should have a clear understanding of virtualization technologies before going to the course for example like how vm works how virtual networking works how virtual hard disk works so these are some things which you need to know and second thing you need to be aware of is how network configuration works let's say for example how tcp ip works and what are the ways uh, of layers which involve in your typical request what is dns and what are vpns what are firewalls and what are the encryption technology which is available currently and third part is that you need to understand how active directory works so you don't really need to know end to end but at least you should know what is active directory where does it help and how does it helps specifically you might want to know about what are all the forest what are all the domain what is domain controller and various protocol involved in active directory like ldap or kerberos and finally you might need to be aware of how to host an application in high availability and disaster recovery how to take backups and how to restore those backups so these are the things which you need to be aware of before going to this course and once you gone through this entire course this will prepare you to be a cloud administrator so it will let you know how the cloud model works for each and every areas and how you should build a secure infrastructure on cloud so coming to the specific course objectives what is going to teach so administrator mainly uses different interfaces either it be azure portal or the cloud shell or the powershell or azure cli or arm templates so you are going to have a hands on and you explore various interfaces to achieve a task for example when you are trying to create a new infrastructure you can create it in portal you can use cloud shell or you can create it from powershell commands or you can use azure cli or if you want to use infrastructure as a code you can use home template and you should be comfortable enough in using any of those things after after finishing the course and next thing is that like you should be able to plan and create a virtual machine infrastructure either it be a single virtual machine or a cluster or a scale, scale set you should be able to plan and create a virtual machine infrastructure and next thing is like as a successful cloud administrator you should be able to implement your own storage uh, on cloud this involves creating storage accounts creating necessary containers either you want to create prop storage or azure files and you should understand the concept of how the access works and what are shared access keys next thing is like you should be able to configure networking specifically you should be able to configure virtual networks and subnets what ip addressing i need to use how do i associate dns and how do i 
apply security using network security groups and next area is that you should be able to comfortably configure the backups for either individual files or folders or virtual machines and then you should be able to configure connectivity like vnet pairing between the vnets and vnet to vnet connectivity site to site connectivity and express route yeah these are some things which you might need to understand clearly you might not try express route as a part of the course but you should be able to understand what it is how it look like and there are few concepts for network uh, traffic which we call service endpoints and there are routings and some of the load balancing concepts like azure load balancer and azure traffic manager so those are managing the resource part and next thing is like since the central cloud team is the cloud custodian for all the uh, subscriptions you should be able to understand what is an azure enrollment accounts subscriptions how users and groups works and billing part and you should be able to implement specific policies from organizational point of view to allow or restrict some some things how other users can interact next you should be able to understand how the identity and access management works in azure specifically with azure active directory and you should be able to set up azure active directory infrastructure by connecting with on prem ad then you should be able to secure identities with multi factor authentication and apply some of the advanced policies like identity protection and self service password reset so next thing you need to understand is that like if you are migrating an uh, environment from on prem to cloud there are data transfer involved and you should be able to understand what are the import and export uh, options available to export the data and things like data box and cdn and file sync so those are some of the concepts which involves the data transfer and you should be able to understand that and finally you should be able to understand how monitoring works in azure and how infrastructure monitoring works what is log analytics and how network monitor works and what are the tools available for network monitoring or the application monitoring and how to set up those alerts so these are some of the objectives which is covered in this course and if you look at the course outline so there are 12 modules involved in this course so if we'll start with the beginning it starts with azure administration and it will cover each and every topics like virtual machines storage networking and how to connect across different sites monitoring part and specifically we touch upon the data protection which azure supports and how to manage the network traffic then touching up on the identity parts like azure active directory and how are we going to secure the identities so what are all the governance and compliance controls available on azure and finally touch upon what the data services available on azure so you don't really need to know deep on data services but you should be able to understand what data services are available and how to securely provision them and how to add specific controls to those services so if we look at the specific certification areas 
various topic have different weightages and if you look at specific service areas so for example manage azure subscriptions and resource this will have specific weight of around 15 to 20 percentage of the exam there are some areas like configure and manage virtual networks where you see like the weightage is 30 to 35 percentage that means you get more questions in this area so you should focus specifically on areas like managing your subscriptions and managing storage virtual machine networking and identity management but as i mentioned like more focus should be in the area of configuring and managing virtual networks because that is where the higher weightage is so finally and the most important thing is that you need hands on in those every areas and either you might use an azure pass or you can use an azure trail subscription or if you already have azure subscription either through uh, visual studio subscription or you already have a pay as you go subscription you can use it on that as well so there are multiple options involved and the most simplest one is that if you haven't used Azure, you can request a free trial account or that is specific learning pass available as well. But if you are already a Visual Studio customer, if and if you are specifically using, let's say, for example, Visual Studio professional license, you are eligible to have a dollar 50 credit every month which is a recurring one and you can use the credits towards Azure and if you are visual to do enterprise subscription you will get 150 dollar uh, credits which you can use it every month so it's a recurring 150 dollar uh, credit and most importantly hands-on is core and integral part of the certification course as well so you should certainly uh, work out the things on the specific Azure subscription and one thing to note that is that there might be specific uh, credits available for the subscription and once you finish this course you should either clear the resources I mean deleting the resources or keep it in shutdown state so that you don't use all the credits in a day thank you